Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is our tower playthrough with Neela, with no tier 5 spells or resurrection allowed. Originally I was just going to disallow them until month 5, but we're already halfway through month 3, so I'm going to extend that to month 7, which should mean that we don't use them at all before we finish the playthrough, theoretically. For this episode it'd be great to find more creature banks or even a utopia or two so we can buy the rest of our army at some stage, and it'd be great to find more AI towns too. I do hate saying this at the start of a video, but if I don't do it now then I'll just forget to. Uh, please put me a like and subscribe if you want to see more, and please do make a playthrough suggestion in the comments if there's something you'd really like to see. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I think we're moving our secondary heroes, picking up a few more resources and things, which is always useful. Uh, Halon's still got a windmill here to visit and then he can pretty much just go back to his warehouse of gems for next time. Bane is going to want to stick around here for these giants, um, but it doesn't really matter when we pick them up, so let's check the refugee camp and the water wheel just for some extra gold. It's only a thousand extra, but it does all help. And let's send Josephine back over here. We don't really have anything else to do with her at the moment. That said, I guess I could have grabbed the... Uh, Giants from Ziff. But no huge issue there. He's still going to have uh, 9 speed unit for next turn. And they'll still get upgraded. Uh, Alkin. Alkin, I think I want to just get rid of the slow units because at least he's going to have a. Are they 7 or 9 speed? 9 speed serpent flies. I think that's good enough to, uh, to use there. So let's let's keep the serpent flies and get rid of everything else. Um, Alkin can start making his way somewhat across here, so we can at least bring some troops forward. Um, yeah, I probably can move a bit further on Alkin. That's fine, I think. Let's see what we can build in our newest town. Um, could build a resource silo. One sulfur would be helpful, but not essential. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. We do want to upgrade to get dragons eventually, so... Where are we? Day two, so we've got plenty of time. Maybe we just build the labyrinth. It's 4,000 gold, but we can afford to spend it. Okay, so I think we're good. We can end the turn there. Okay, so let's move our secondary heroes. Six gems, always useful. And then Caitlin can make her way around. Probably just back to the warehouse of wood. Yeah. Back to her usual route. Uh, Thane, let's see what we got in the refugee camp. Ah, Knolls. All that useful. But a thousand gold here is always going to be useful. Josephine can go and pop herself on this windmill for next time. And Cuthbert wants to go and give the army back to Neela. Uh, he could pick up some resources while he's here. Or fourth level spell. Uh, yeah, Cuthbert has expert wisdom, so... Hmm, wasn't actually holding the bag of gold there. Or at least it wasn't equipped. Let's see what we get. Ah, Town Portal. Very, very useful spell probably just what we were looking for actually we can learn that with our expert scholar on Neela so actually provided some value for once I say for once scholar isn't an entirely useless spell um, it's just not the most useful spell either um, let's pop the purse of gold on Cuthbert and we'll pop our cloak on Cuthbert as well and in fact we've got a cart of wood there might as well give the mana charm to Cuthbert. And I've got a duplicate of the Boots of Speed, so Cuthbert can have those too, since I'm feeling generous. Anything else that could be useful to him? Oh, I've got a spare chest piece. Let's give him a slow scroll since I've got duplicates of those. And 
I don't think Dragon Bone Greaves are ever going to be useful because I do have Sandals of the Saint to swap in if I wanted to have stats on my boots. Okay, I think that's good enough. And what do we want to equip in our last slot for Neela? I guess the Shaman's Puppet. Although I don't think we've actually learnt slow yet, so let's learn slow. Let me just double check. Has uh, has Cuthbert got slow? Yes, but he does have a scroll on. Does he have it without? He does. Let me just double check that. Yeah, he does have slow. Which means that Neela should also have slow. She does indeed now have slow. Great, okay. So we will pop on the Shaman's Puppet then. Okay, so that's a... Uh, that's a pretty successful turn, I would say. Um, we've got Town Portal. We've got our units back. So, let's start making our way down the road. Stats on Neela are looking really, really chunky now as well, which is nice. Uh, we already visited that Naga Bank up there, which is a shame. Let's grab these resources on Cuthbert next time. Josephine can stay where she is. Ziff's just coming back to upgrade these into Titans. And then he can just run back down and start being part of a chain. And Alkin can just wait where he is for now. He? She? Uh, he. Okay. Could do the Manticore Lair. I think I'm going to do MG2 though instead. Let's see what we get. Lightning Bolt, Precision, Quicksand and Ice Bolt. Well, spells that we already have I think, but that's okay. Okay, so I think that's uh, fine to end the turn there. Really hoping we see Orange again. Uh, it was nice actually seeing some AI heroes on the map, but I guess we then went and took them out, so kind of our fault, I suppose. I've got a gem pond just down next to Neela, which could be useful. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet with, uh, with Cuthbert, but I think I'm probably just going to send him down and start picking up a few bits and pieces if we can here. He can pick up the gem pond. Warehouse of Gems as well, potentially. Maybe not though, as we can't get through here by the looks of it. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be some other things for him to clear out along down the road. Okay, another thousand gold. Always useful. And... I mean, I guess we just leave Thane where he is. We can check the refugee camp on the way back up when we're actually ready to hire the rest of the giants. And Ziff is pretty much in the right spot for another hero to meet with him. Which means actually that Alkin is not. So I think she's going to be able to reach to about there. That should be fine though. Uh, Halong can pop himself back on the Warehouse of Gems for next time. And Caitlin's just making herself uh, available to the Warehouse of Wood next time as well. Okay, so I think that's actually all the heroes we're going to move. Other than Neela. Um, yeah, we can take out a throng of greater basilisks. I think that's fine. Although, seems like a bit of an extreme way to get access to slow, which we already have. But let's take them out anyway. It's uh, yeah, it's a decent amount of XP. Pack of manticles and a throng of gorgons guarding sword of judgment, which is the best weapon artifact we could possibly hope for. Okay, 10k XP for some Gorgons, that's nice. Let's pick up this SOJ, as it's commonly known. Okay, that's a nice boost to our stats, going from plus 4 attack to plus 5 to all stats. Yeah, that's a really nice boost. Um, okay. Hmm, Wayfarer's Boots. Actually a pretty good item, but I don't think we need them. And Lion's Shield of Courage. Yeah, similar to the uh, Null's Flail. That's, uh, that's going to be a plus four to wall instead of a plus five just to defense. It actually gives us the last piece of the Angelic Alliance too, which is awesome. 
How do we get there, most importantly? I guess just directly. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So everyone else is staying where they are for now. I didn't even check what size this pack of uh, ghost dragons was. I really should have done that before I just went for them. Ooh, pink. Oh no, they're not somewhere accessible. We can just see them across the uh, across the dungeon area. That's a shame. Uh, Thane's staying where he is. Josephine is too. Cuthbert can come along and pick up some bits and pieces for me. Most importantly, the gem pond. Uh, okay, yeah, we can't reach that by going through that way, so we won't. We'll just see what else we can pick up with uh, with Cuthbert if we follow along past Neela. Okay, so oh, it's only lost lots of ghost dragons. That should be fine. I don't, th I don't think I outspeed them though. I think ghosties might outspeed me here. Yeah, I think they do. Let's just shield up. I'm going to say and pray for morale, but we didn't get morale. Mm. Alright, I guess we're just going to lose one Titan. I think it's worth it for the Lion Shield, because that's uh, that's a big upgrade to our stats. Now 42, uh, 42 attack. And, I mean, 32 knowledge, which has limited use. Given our uh, wizards well here, <laughs> um, but 36 spell power, 39 defense is really nice. That's kind of as much defense as we'll probably need. Um, even in the late game, it's unlikely that the AI heroes will get high enough um, attack to actually make that make a difference. But we'll see. Armor is super strong on Neela. Not that that has any relevance, I suppose. So, uh, lots of sea serpents. Do you know what I, th I I don't really want to spend the movement on it, but we are going to take the fight. Um, reason being, there's a Naga Bank there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, 10k XP. Super small Naga Bank, which is a shame. Okay, everyone else, I think, is already in their spot for next week. Yep. We've got a real budget hero chain that's going to be going on with a couple of heroes, and that's all. Oh, pink again. Ah, oh, still in the same spot. Fine. Okay, so Caitlin up to the warehouse of wood, and then that's her finished with movement. Oh, I actually don't really have anything to pick up with uh, with Cuthbert here so far, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, might as well grab the defence. It's only one a couple of movement points off. Wow. Throng of power liches guarding two Naga Banks. That'd be really nice to find. Um, let's explore down here with Cuthbert. Just to see what we can see. Okay, Swamp area. Hopefully we'll have a town here. We've been following a road for quite some time without finding anything at all, so it'd be nice to be able to find a town. Uh, everyone else is good where they are. We're on day six. We're going to see pink again, I would imagine, just milling around. Yep, there we go. Okay, nearly a new week. Okay, so we're pretty much blocked off by lots of devils or a horde of Nyx warriors. That would be a horrible fight to take. Nyx warriors are basically a tier 7 with how strong they are. They're absolutely insane. And we've got Brown's Bay. Okay. 
a reasonable defensive army. I think this is the way to do it. I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like it probably was the way to do it. Um, for those who are wondering why I split the manticores into stacks of one, um, towers on towns prioritise the bottom three stacks usually. So if you can, you're best off having, well, three stacks ideally. Um, there's chain lightning. Okay, that was good. And morale as well, perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what we needed then. We needed to split the stacks, perfect. Okay, and from here, now that we have a new town, we could actually think about going back and grabbing Titans. Which would be... I think it'd be pretty worthwhile at the moment. Could grab some more stats. The Black Tower up there, but that would have been taken already. Um, Medusa Stores. Again, it's almost certainly been taken. Do you know what? Let's check. Yeah, it's been taken. Fine. <laughs> Let's grab one attack from here. And... Yeah, that's nearly us, but what I might do is, at the start of the next turn, I might well just teleport back to my uh, town portal, back to my main town, grab a few more titans, and then come back here. Um, there's no preclusion on using town portal in this particular playthrough, which I may preclude myself from using in future playthroughs, but for now... I'm quite happy having uh, having the ability to use it, actually. Especially on a, a giant map with my first time preventing myself from using these spells. I think it's wise. Okay, so everybody's going to be where they need to be at the start of the next turn. Cuthbert can, I guess, just come into this new area for me, pick up a few mines and whatever else we can find. Um, he can also go and explore to the north here, as it looks like this area is pretty big. Hold on. We've got an ore pit there and an ore pit there, which means technically this is another area, and it looks like it might have been unexplored as well, given that the ore pit's not even been taken, and even some of the really, really easy fights here have been left. So, yeah, I think maybe we go up with, uh, with Cuthbert and explore what else we might be able to do. Uh, Ziff's usefulness if we're using Town Portal has kind of come to an end. Um, so I think perhaps we send him through and we could just go and explore some of this area, I suppose. In fact, yeah, let's, let's do that with Ziff. That seems like something useful to do. Um, otherwise, I think everybody's happy staying where they are. could potentially leave it another turn. In fact, I'm actually going to send Thane back quicker than that. I'm going to send him back now. And we might be able to jump through the town portal, uh, the town gate here, to our main town, and upgrade those units before Neela arrives. So, yeah, I, th I think I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to save the rest of our gold for now. Which means I think we're good to end the turn. Um, Alkin, I don't really need for chain anymore. And I'm going to explore over here with Ziff, so... Alkin can't actually get through there. Uh, he can walk past these Gorgons, though, by the looks of it. So let's do that. Let's see what we have up here. Ah. He can't walk past the Minotaurs. Fine. Well, that was uh, short-lived exploration. Okay, and I think we're good to end the turn there. Okay, we're going to be day one next turn, which means we're going to have a fairly significant amount of resources and things to pick up. Week of the Gopher. 
Okay, so Halong can pick up the gems from there as usual. Gems from this windmill too. Ten wood, some gold, a little bit more gold next turn. Thane can go and grab these for me. Perfect. Josephine can grab the windmill that she sat upon. And might as well take the 48 gremlins, I guess. Wow. That's an awful lot of vampires. 24 to recruit. I guess Orange isn't a uh, vampire player though, so it doesn't really matter. A shield we already have on our main, so we don't need to worry about that. Mm. Runes of Imminency. We find them, could actually be useful for a secondary hero to trade them in for that. Swarm of Sea Dogs, that seems like an extremely high guard for what it's actually guarding, so maybe this box is a pretty strong one. Okay, and that's pretty much all we can see there. Let's send Ziff back to the main road in that case. And likewise with Alkin. Okay, so Neela next. Um, I need to decide realistically what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think... Probably the best thing to do is just to be aggressive. Although I could go and visit the stat building up here, but I don't... Oh, I can actually get through that gap. Could be worth visiting these stat buildings before I carry on then, because I'm going to need a couple of days to pick up my, uh, my other troops if I do this properly. So, that's everybody moved. We'll end the turn. Alright, pretty uneventful AI turns, at least from what we could see. Which of course was nothing. Okay, do our normal windmill route. Let's pick up three giants, three giants, and next turn three giants. No, so, so there should be enough. Next turn I'll be able to teleport back to uh, my main town, Corona, with an additional 12 giants from these, which is really nice. Josephine can just drop off the gremlins before they slow her down again. God, Titans are so expensive. I mean, they are really, really good. I would definitely say they're one of my favourite tier 7 units. We'll speed of the birds, 11. So let's buy one bird. We'll swap that out for the giant there. And Cuthbert can come and grab this uh, lumber mill for me. Lovely. Okay. Ziff's coming out this way. Alkin really wants to be, I guess, going a bit further forward um, and seeing what we can find if we go through the subterranean gate. So, might as well pick up the water wheel on the way since it doesn't really cost us any extra mana or movement even. Uh, windmill we won't bother with though. But we will go and grab the School of War. Okay, and I think that's good to end the turn. Okay, once again a pretty uneventful AI turn. But I'm okay with that. In some ways, I'd rather remain blissfully ignorant of uh, what the AI is doing. Certainly leads for a more entertaining game if you just have somebody pop out of nowhere and, and start attacking you, so... Okay, 12 giants. Let's go to Corona. Let's buy ourselves one Master Genie for speed. And upgrade... All of our giants, which we can't actually do. 
but it is worth getting rid of some of these resources. In fact, let's get rid of a load of mercury. Okay, so we've got another 24 titans to pick up, which is uh, pretty awesome. And then Thane can just start making his way back to this point here. In some ways it'd be really nice for Neela to come and clear out this last Cloud Temple. But given how many turns it's going to take to get there, I'm not sure how worth it it actually is. So it's going to be one, two, and from here three. Three turns to reach there with Neela. Hmm. Maybe slightly less because she's got logistics, boots of speed, and just titans. I did also have this uh, workshop to kill down here, but... I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's send Thane back. Oh, we don't even have a thousand gold to trade in at the School of War. That's uh, that's awful. <laughs> okay, let's grab the plus one attack from here. And then Neela wants to go back to Brown's Bay. We'll grab the one giant that's here. We'll also grab our giant that's in uh, in our dungeon town. Now two giants. So let's pick those up. Portal of Summoning's really been doing its job. Okay, let's leave the other giants. Let's also leave the Scorpa cores. Oh no, they're the same speed as the uh, the Titans, so we don't really need to. And Neela. It's still going to take Neela four turns. Do you know what? I'm going to do it anyway because it's a huge fight for XP. Like, absolutely massive. Uh, and I would like to clear out that other Cloud Temple for growth, if nothing else. Okay, let's grab the Sawmill. Let's go and get this Orpid as well. And then we can check out what we've got in the Magic Shrine. We can always go and teach it to Neela with uh, with Cuthbert. Does Neela have Expert Wisdom? She does, good. Okay. Let's pop uh, Josephine back on the Windmill for next time. Send Ziff along here. And Alkin, let's send three. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually even visit that uh, Shrine of Magic Thought. That's silly. Let's have a bit of an explore then. Alkin will probably end up just getting killed instantly, but I think I'm okay with that. Now I'm debating with myself whether it's actually worth sending Neela all this way. Ah, I should have left the Scorpacores at home. Because they're non-native units. Which means I am actually getting a movement speed penalty. Okay, I can make it here in two turns. Which isn't as bad as I thought. Could do the Medusa stores on the way as well. Extra gold would be super useful, so let's do that. And Thane is also making his way back across. Wow, look how much further Neely can get with her boots of speed and logistics. That's incredible. Let's see what we can get with Cuthbert here. Empty, I presume. Yep. Also empty, but nice bit of minus morale there. Uh, and we've got another water wheel and obelisk here, which we'll grab with Cuthbert. But, but yeah, it looks like... Yeah, this is impassable here, so we can't get through. 
So it is just this area here then. That's fine. Let's see what we can find with Alkin. Ooh. Okay. Not a lot, as it turns out. He has got swamp units, though, so we're not actually getting reduced here, which is nice. Let's move Caitlin back up to where she needs to be for the start of the week. Helen's already in the right spot, so that's good. So we can end the turn there already. Okay, not seeing... Ooh, nice. Actually seeing a green hero there. And orange again, but over in a different area. Okay, so this is the area above where we just were. So we were, we were wrong that they haven't taken it, I think. Looks like maybe they have, or they're at least just starting to explore it now, perhaps. With a really, really weak hero. Okay, it's only a tiny bit of gold, but it all helps at this point. Oh, there's another water wheel there. I should remember that Thane's uh, weekly journey. Twenty-five thousand experience. Okay, so it was a two hundred and fifty. I think that's the biggest. I think that's the biggest the swarm can be before it's the next one up. I think. Let's do the fight anyway. So we'll wait on all of them so they get a bit closer. And we've almost got one stack each here per stack of my titans. Alright, I can see why the auto resolve. Uh, didn't struggle with that, there wasn't really any need to play the fight out even. I think that was all tier 2s, which is nice. Uh, Thane can come up and grab this water wheel. And Neela's nearly there, she can grab these arties and possibly visit the black market just to see what we've got. But most importantly we're going to have our fourth cloud temple there, which is uh, which is huge actually. And we've got three giants in our main town, might as well upgrade those so that they're ready to take on our journeys. And I think as soon as Neela has cleared these out, um, and maybe visited the black market as well, uh, we're just going to tell a town portal to Browns Bay, our newest town, and just continue exploring out along the road to see what we find. There we go. These guys are all in the right spot already. Let's pick up the water wheel. We're on day five already, so... I think maybe we leave Cuthbert where he is for now. He can pick up the gold for me. Come down and pick up the windmill, second water wheel, and second windmill next turn. Uh, Ziff can go and visit this windmill just to the north. And sit on that till the end of the turn. Okay, not a lot we can see here either. But at the same time, we do know that they've not cleared all of this out, any of the AI, so that's actually really useful. I think maybe this was their main town. Hmm, maybe we'll build the grotto later. Purple has found the most artifacts. Interesting. Uh, no point grabbing either of these secondaries. So let's end the turn. Put us on to day six already. Uh, no movement from the AI again by the looks of it. 
Oh no, a little bit from uh, from green. I think it's the same spot that pink were a couple of turns ago as well. So hopefully they're having a little war between themselves over there. But not too much of one. I'd like them to still have a decent number of troops when I actually come to kill them. Otherwise it sort of defeats the point, really. And Neela, let's clear out this cloud temple. We can pick up the one giant, why not? And yeah, normally I'd grab the boots of speed, but I already have two pairs of them, so I'm not going to bother with that. Which means that Neela can jump herself to Corona. Can upgrade the other Titan. There we go. Okay, three three stacks of Titans, pretty decent stacks as well, I would say. So let's go to Brown's Bay. I'll just double check. I don't need to pick up anything else. Nope, I think we're good. Okay, let's go to Brown's Bay then. And from Brown's Bay, it's really going to be about just moving forward and seeing what we can find. I'm presuming they're going to have taken out this stores. Yep. Oh, looks like we're going back underground. Good fun. I'm going to tope over there. Shame we can't use any tier 5 spells because I'd really love to take out some utopias at this point. Rather than just having a whole raft of relatively inactive heroes that are just there to collect resources for me. I would like to be able to equip. Ooh. There's a tope here that hasn't been taken. It's only guarded by a horde of cyclops, which just makes it pretty easy. Swarm of mechanics would be a great fight. For Neela to get XP on, at least. Although they don't have very high health, actually, mechanics, so we could only be talking sort of two and a half, three, four thousand to maybe six or seven thousand XP, which actually isn't that great, I suppose. Um, but otherwise, most of our heroes are pretty much where they want to be for the end of the turn. So I think we'll end the turn there. Yep. And probably not much action from the AI. As we've seen is relatively typical. Okay, day seven, so very few things needed. Um, Thane can just pop himself on here for next week. Really nice that we've got a fourth cloud temple now. I think it was worth the huge detour to go and get that. Should pay dividends in the meantime. Uh, means that in total we're getting six growth plus four, so we're getting ten titans per week essentially. Um, so it's no wonder we've no, not got any gold. That's 50k a week, which is almost double what our base capital is actually producing. Um, luckily the extra city hall from our newest town here is really going to help though, uh, alongside our dungeon city hall, as that's boosted our overall income up over 10,000 instead of just under 5,000 as it was uh, a few turns ago, or a few episodes ago I should say. And uh, Just build me two seconds. Sorry about that, just had a quick call to take. So let's move Neela underground. And before we do anything further, let's move Alkin so we can at least see what we've got next. We'll definitely pick up this Mercury Lab. Okay, we can't get past there, so we'll move down to the south. Got an experimental workshop there, which let's hope it isn't cleared out. It looks like it isn't. It's guarded by lots of black dragons, but that's okay. Uh, I can come through here with my main hero pretty soon. If I can remember where uh, where this portal actually came from. Ah, it's this one. It's this one, okay. So it's pretty close to our dungeon town, that's fine. And with Neela, I can see there's some Scorpicores or Manticores up here guarding the endless sack of gold, so I'm going to go and take that. I know it's really, really out of the way, but it's plus a thousand gold a day, which is pretty significant at this point. 
uh, better than the shaman's puppet, I think. And let's get ourselves back towards the road. And I think that's us good for the week. So let's just end the turn there. Okay, Blue's turn took a little bit longer than the AIs normally would, which is always concerning. It quite often means they're stuck somewhere and can't get out. Uh, troglodyte population doubles. Okay, well, hopefully there's not loads of troglodytes in the way, but it looks like there actually is. So that's pretty frustrating. Might have to borrow some troops from our main town for our uh, scout heroes here. Okay, so this does change things slightly. Um, Caitlin can still grab the water wheel here, but she's not going to be able to beat the horde of troglodytes with one uh, one master genie. So she's going to need to go around this way and grab some more units from somewhere. Bane. Well, luckily he can hire giants, I suppose, so should be able to just really. Let's just wait and wait. Let's wait, wait again. Oh well, we morale'd and then screwed it up anyway, so that's perfect. I don't know why it's so keen on making me lose my uh, my genie here. Okay, perfect. We can grab our other giants. Okay, that's fine. Let's check out the black market as well. We're not going to be moving back for a few turns, so we can do that. And let's pick up our warehouse of gems. We then are stuck in this particular area. Fine. So Josephine's going to need to come back and grab some troops so that we can start clearing out some of these uh, troglodyte stacks so the rest of our heroes can move, at least. Uh, Cuthbert can pick up the water wheel. Then... Wow, okay, you can't pick up anything else because there's two stacks of trogs blocking them, of course. And we get some mercury from this uh, this windmill, at least. Okay. Ah, I really shouldn't have flagged those vampires so that they didn't get more vampires. I really didn't think about my portal of summoning. Never mind. Okay, so we might be able to get through here with uh, with Alkin as well, just explore a little bit more, that'd be nice. And not a lot to do with Ziff, really. So he can wait there for now. Neela wants to be moving down the road, she's got a decent amount of movement points. Okay, 121 unicorns. Okay, I mean, these fights should be reasonably trivial. For my titans, at least. Uh, yeah, that's been cleared, so I'm not even going to bother visiting it. Or at least I'm pretty sure it's been cleared. Pendant of Courage is good, but we don't need it. Okay, taupe. Actually an accessible taupe. Which is actually huge. Um, regardless of what we've got coming down the road here, I'm going to go and take the tape. And we've got the Ender's Sack of Gold. I believe that's the one we're already wearing. Yeah, it is, but I can always pick up a duplicate and give that to another hero. That'll really help with income. Um, okay, and not a lot else to do, really. Since we're really just uh, waiting for Josephine to be able to clear out some units and uh, therefore take us to the next steps. 
at least with clearing out our resource buildings and our biome. Okay, we've got orange exploring that swamp area to the southeast of our biome. Huh, I never visited this lean tea. Interesting. Let's buy some cheap units. And, you know what, let's just buy our Titans. We'll take those with us. And in fact, Josephine probably doesn't even need the, uh, the Gremlins, realistically, if I'm going to be taking Titans with me. Why are they so keen to kill my Master Genie in every fight that I have? Great. And let's just send Josephine on the route this time. Caitlin can always meet, uh, always swap and go and visit Josephine's area. And, oh yeah, Artifact Merchant doesn't change, so still nothing there that we want, that's fine. Means Thane can go and grab this water wheel for me instead. Cuthbert can run back round to town here so that he can potentially pick up some... I'll pick up that obelisk on the way back round, but potentially pick up some Stormbirds. Uh, Acids, as they are at the moment, so that I can uh, I can keep exploring and actually start going through some of the resource buildings that I have. Got another endless sack of gold there. Alright, well, lots of phoenixes should be fine. Yep. Great, let's take the endless sack. We've got a dwarven treasury to clear here as well. Okay, great. And endless bag of gold, so... That's pretty good. I can't remember uh, how many pieces you need to make the golden goose. I'll check that out after we finish recording this episode, as I think I might be getting pretty close to having uh, having the golden goose, which would be pretty nice. Okay, so that's plus 1,750 gold a day, which is actually pretty huge on our overall income. So let's end the turn. Yeah, Orange is clearing out this, but that's fine. We know it wasn't their original town, or we suspect it wasn't at least. And Pink are picking up some resources, which is actually good. Uh, it means that we might have a little bit more of a challenging game overall, which is never going to be a bad thing. Uh, let's just pick up the Gremlins, that should be fine. And then we'll move up to clear some of the thing some of the trogs so that Halon can finally uh, move his way out of here. Okay, so it looks like this has definitely hasn't been cleared out, this experimental shop. And it's really not far away from the portal either. If I come down here, I can clear my way up through the Black Dragons, take out the Medusas, and take the Cyclops Kings. Wow, look at this. Cloak and the Sulphur Ring but more than a hundred ghost dragons, which is quite a few. Uh, looks like this one may have been cleared out, but we won't know for sure until we can see a bit closer. So perhaps we run our way back round. And Josephine's going to visit everything on the way past and then clear out this stack of trogs. Yep, that works for me. Cuthbert, let's take these birds. 
and then we can go up this way. Yep, that works for me. Okay, it's a mini treasury. It's a shame. We got anything good here? I don't think there's anything there that we desperately want to clear out, so let's try out going to our next area. Uh, okay, so we've got a churchyard, swarm of harpies. Hmm. It's not much there overall, so let's just start going up the road. Library's always useful. And a Naga Bank, guarded by a horde of dragons. I think they should be fine as a fight, so we'll take that next turn. Bane is running his way towards the water wheel for me. And Ziff is essentially doing absolutely nothing. But that's okay. Okay, so we can end the turn already. Yeah, AI turns are taking slightly longer now, which uh, I think is actually a good thing means they're not getting stuck anywhere, which is always nice. Okay. Alon's doing nothing. Thane's visiting this water wheel for me. Josephine is visiting various bits and pieces. Yeah, that's actually fine. Okay, so Cuthbert's picking up my resources from this side, that's really good. And Alkin we want to explore with and see how far we can get. Um, we might even have to go all the way around the portal because we can't fight a horde of troglodytes. Not with uh, three serpent flies anyway. I think a horde of dragons should be fine. Yep, even with 32 goldies, still no losses, that's nice. Wow, 20k XP, that was a big box. Uh, I'm not going to bother taking the picket just because the Cyclops will just slow me down anyway. Okay, two Naga Banks in one turn, that's pretty awesome. And we're going to get a Arena, an Arena, next turn. So that works well for me. Okay, so AI we haven't seen much of. Hopefully we'll see a bit more of orange. Yep, there we go. I'm curious how to access that area, but I'm hopefully going to find that out. Well done, Caitlin. Leveled up. And how long can go and visit this for me? Excellent. Okay, well done, Thane. We've got that endless bag of gold, we already know which one that is. And which is the one we've got? We've got the purse of gold. So we've got the purse of gold, the sack of gold, and the bag of gold. Okay. As I say, I'll check that out once uh, once the episode's done so I can remind myself of the constituent parts of the golden goose. Okay, and Cuthbert can go and wait himself on this water wheel. Although, day five, I'll go and visit the obelisk as well this week. Genuinely not sure what it is about uh, my genies that this this game hates so much. Right, so we stick Josephine here. She can then drop off the Titans next uh, next week, start of next week, roughly. That should be fine. And Thane, we just want to wait. Actually, no, we want to check out the refugee camp. Cyclops, not worth having. So I think everyone is kind of where they want to be. With a Neela. Swarm of magic elementals. 
Okay, 21k XP. And Crystal Dragon. Uh, what speed is it? A 16. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll leave the Crystal Dragon then. That's fine. Lots of Storm Elementals. 30 Storm Elementals seems like a stupidly weak guard for this point in the game. Uh, I'm not going to bother killing the monks because I don't want the prisons. Double box and another library. Well, I definitely want that. So here we go through the Orgoy Korkoy instead. Okay. So let's end the turn. Make us day six. Let's see what we can see with Alkin. Hmm. Not a lot, it turns out. But I'm pretty sure that this has been visited at this point. So Alkin actually can't get any further in any direction, so perhaps I just send him back home. Cuthbert can visit this obelisk. It's definitely an overland one, so we might actually have a chance of getting it this time. Thing, can visit the water wheel and just sit on there for the next couple of days and hell on likewise. Okay. And Caitlin probably wants to just go and sit on this windmill for next turn, or for next week even. Okay, everyone's in the right spot. Everyone else, I should say. We'll pick up this chest while I'm here. So let's slow, we'll wait on the Crystal Dragon, we'll take a stack each for our Titans. Let's just defend on the Crystal Dragon, probably Chain Lightning here, mm, no I might zap my own Crystal Dragon actually. Maybe we just lightning bolt the biggest stack. Yep. And then defend. Lightning bolt the bottom stack and then hit the top stack. Okay. 41,000 experience. This, these are going to be quite big boxes, I think. 10k XP, so not huge. And 20k. Okay, that's, that's pretty big. And a level 5 scroll. Shame I can't use it. Uh, and I think maybe we just go back to. Back to the road. There's a swarm of dendroids there guarding a box, which could be pretty significant. There's two trees of knowledge up there. It's two free levels. Could be worth working our way towards. There's also a tope up here, which is uh, something we definitely want to take on the way through as well. Okay, so day six. think we're happy on everybody. Let's move to day seven. Okay, still not seeing much action from the AI. Um, we've we've explored a, a fair bit of the map now. Not a huge, huge amount, but a fair bit of the map. Uh, but we are in month four, so I think my decision to extend till month seven is definitely wise. What have we got here? Another 20k XP box. This is, uh, yeah, this is pretty big. Maybe I kill the dreadnoughts on the way past. Might as well, it's a little bit more XP. And puts us at the start of a level so we can grab the Tree of Knowledge as well. 
Um, okay, I think... I think everyone's in the spot they want to be on for the start of next week. Other than Alkin, who... I don't really know where to send Alkin right at the moment. He's not a particularly useful hero overall. So it's hard to say what to do with him. Perhaps we just start moving him down. But other than that, um, that's the end of the week and the end of the turn. So I think we're actually going to leave it there for this episode. But thanks very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.